Okay, so hi, welcome to your first part of uncracking the message in the Build Your Own YouTube adventure. So your first step is to write down this word, whatever word is up here. Okay, and once you've written that down, I'm going to get right into it. So McLuhan kind of theorized that um, the media and the tools that we use every day are just extensions of our natural biological capabilities. So for example, clothing is a, an extension of the skin because it gives us warmth that our skin cannot naturally provide. Um, headphones are an extension of the ear. Books are an extension of the eye. And phones would be an extension of the mouth. Um, we develop a relationship with the tools that we use, with these media. Um, and this, in this relationship, we shape each other. We enable the technology, and the technology um, changes the way we see information, it changes the way we act. Um, so as John Reed discussed in lecture on September 15th, um, he said that we enable the technology to shape our worlds and the way in which we and the way we navigate um, within them. So this can also be seen through something called the actor network theory. And John Law um, was the person to develop this theory, and he looked at society as a heterogeneous network. So it's made up of many diverse and different parts, which construct um, uh, the social patterns. Um, that we see, and oftentimes they're very complex. So technology is social, and like our social world is technological. So these di diverse parts within society, they work together um, to form the social sphere. So those things, that is us and technology, we shape each other. By nature, humans are not isolated. Um, we have developed these technologies which create flows of language, ideas, cultures, and communication, uh, which are all mediated through these tools that we use. So for example, a lot of language nowadays, um, this is past McLuhan's time, but a lot of language is mediated through the cell phone and it's even created its own language. So the actor network theory applies how um, we have this relationship with our cell phones, with our TVs, with even our like our clothing, if you even want to call our clothing a technology, that completely changes the way we act. So, um, as McLuhan said, um, this is a direct quote. It says um, in his in his writing, he says, "Media by altering the environment evoke in us unique ratios." Uh, of sense perceptions. The extension of any one sense alters the way we think and act, the way we perceive the world. When these raci ratios change, men change. So this actor network concept comes into play as our cultures and our languages and our social wor worlds are molded um, by how we use technologies within our environments. So when the media change the environment the way they do so rigidly today, we change. Because we are actors, um, part of this very large network um, uh, that shapes our lives because we're technological. Um, as John Law says in his works, um, this is another direct quote, it says, uh, it is also that almost all of our interactions with other people are mediated through objects of one kind or another, whether it be text or phone, print, or even the postal system. So these technologies have a realm of possible functions, um, what it can and can't do. A technology can do something, and a technology cannot do something for us. So these technologies that are so deeply embedded into our lives, um, and they, because they're so uh, deeply embedded in their lives, therefore they have power over us um, through what it can and cannot do. So the media we use um, are altering the way we navigate our lives, as McLuhan suggested, because they con they constrain us by what they can and can't do. Um, so, uh, for example, the TV has changed the way uh, many families interact. So, TVs are non-portable devices. Typically, a family will sit in front of it and look at it, and the information will just be streaming with us. We don't interact with it. Um, they provide us with entertainment, but we don't necessarily interact. Um, uh, like, we don't interact with it on the same level that we do, say, a cell phone. So, this can change the dynamics of communication. For example, the TV has the power um, over us 
um, because it cannot interact with us. It has the power over us to make us sit and watch for hours and hours and hours. So a family dinner um, can change from a bunch of people um, sitting around a table and actually communicating with each other. Uh, it can change from that to people sitting in front of the TV and just eating their food and watching TV, not actually talking to each other. So um, it changes the way we interact with each other. Um, the media and the technologies that we use um, like affect the way we think, act, and interact within the social sphere. So we are these actors in a large network of technologies that uh, change the way we live. So that's the actor network theory and how it applies to um, McLuhan's concepts. So here's your next question that will take you to the next video. So do you like talking, do you prefer talking to somebody on the phone or on Skype? Skype's here. There might be a little picture there, but if you prefer talking to people on the phone, click here. If you prefer talking to people on Skype, click here.